Complaint. The liftgate on the Viano model 639 no longer closes properly. The instrument cluster's display shows the fault message. Door open. Therefore, the sprinter's smaller counterpart needs to visit the workshop. The liftgate is poorly adjusted and doesn't close as it should. The interior light fails to turn off. To address this, the liftgate must be adjusted correctly. Start by opening the Viano's liftgate. Loosen the bolts on the lock striker until they can be moved. If not, the lock striker might force the door into an incorrect position during the adjustment. Unfasten the bolts for the guide wedges on both sides of the liftgate. It is recommended to remove the guide wedges completely, otherwise they might push the door into the wrong position. To adjust the liftgate correctly, the door checks need to be tightened on both sides of the liftgate. Next, release the lock nut and screw in the door, check on its thread. Adjust the liftgate by determining the depth and horizontal setting. Loosen the three bolts that connect the right and left liftgate hinges to the body. Note that one of the three bolts is accessible only from the inside and the other two from the outside. Important, loosen the bolts just enough to allow manual movement of the liftgate while it is still secured by the hinges. Moving it forwards and backwards will help in determining the depth. Moving it sideways will set the liftgate's horizontal alignment. To elaborate, the movements involve forwards and backwards and side-to-side -side adjustments. Once everything aligns, secure the bolts connecting the right and left liftgate hinges to the body, tightening them to a torque of 23 Newton meters. Remember, the interior bolts should also be tightened to 23 Newton meters of torque. Use a feeler gauge to verify the depth at the top. The space between the lift gate and the roof should measure 8.5 millimeter, plus or minus one millimeter. Next, establish the vertical alignment of the lift gate. Release the three bolts connecting the right and left lift gate hinges to the lift gate itself. But ensure to unscrew the bolts only to the extent that the lift gate remains movable yet held firmly by the hinges. Adjust the vertical alignment by moving the lift gate up and down. Afterwards, re-tighten the bolts on the lift gate. Note, to avoid corrosion, address any paint damage on the hinges and bolts by touching them up with paint following the lift gate adjustment. Check if the lift gate is well adjusted. Utilize the feeler gauge to check the gap between the lift gate and the bumper, which should be seven millimeter plus or minus one millimeter. The lift gate is now vertically well adjusted. Ensure the bolts connecting the lift gate to the right and left hinges are tightened to a torque of 23 Newton meters. Next, unscrew the two door checks for the lift gate slightly and verify. Does the lift gate close flush with the body? If yes, the door checks on both sides are properly adjusted. Subsequently, re-tighten the lock nut. To avoid rattling noises while driving, ensure that the two guide wedges on the lift gate are correctly positioned. Reinstall the guide wedges and loosely screw in the bolts. This also applies to the two locking lugs installed on the body sides. If necessary, these pairs of guide wedges and locking lugs mitigate the door's movement during closure. Ensure the liftgate fits snugly in the door aperture before tightening the bolts on both sides of the liftgate's guide wedges.
it is also essential to secure the two locking lugs. Finally, fasten the bolts on the lock striker. Now the lift gate closes properly again.